Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's focus is on the 2022 Gold Coast Magic Millions Yearling Sale. Can't wait for the action to start tomorrow, Tuesday. I'm going to showcase to you five lots that I think are worth recognising before they go around in the rings. So let's get straight on with it. Lot 585 is a bay cult by the leading sire I'm Invincible out of an elusive city mare called Suspicious. Um, this one really took my eye and I reckon this is the next big thing, this is the next stallion. Of course, it's going to go for a lot of money which is the bad thing, that's probably the cheater's way of saying that's the best horse. But I've said it before it's gone into the ring so I don't know what the price will be but it's definitely going to be high. Um, looking at Suspicious, the mum, um, it's had one fault to race so far and its name is Dubious. By not a single doubt, it's raced in some Group 2 and Group 3 races, so the, the mum's proven. I'm Invincible's a leading sire. Um, yeah, this one this one really took my eye. Even the photo that you saw at the start, it looks like it's got a bit of power in the back hind quarter there. That's where it generates all its power as a sprinter. So I reckon this horse is going to be the best horse to come out of the sale. Um, and hopefully when I do my next video, a follow-up of how this sale goes three or two years later, this horse has already gone to start, has already won, or has already won a big race. So this one is one of the ones that I'm really confident that will be a good horse. Lot 554 is a Bay Philly by up and coming sire Dun Deal out of the Redoute's Choice mare called Sport Chick. Um, now this horse has got it all. It's got the length, it's got the hind quarter power. Um, if you look at the mum Sport Chick, it's had two foals to race, both winners. Dealmaker is included. This horse is a full sister to Dealmaker who has won some Group 2, Group 3 races here and there. So this horse is going to be pretty good aimed at those middle distance horse uh, races. Um, a lot, it's a bit like Super Seth and Castle Vecchio who are both from Dundeal. This horse reminds me of both of them, except this one's a filly, so I can't go to stud, but I assure you this one's a good one. Lot 436 is a bay colt from not a single doubt out of this success express mare called Rodamine. Um, this one I reckon is going to be a star sprinter, can generate a lot of hind quarter power as you can see in that walking uh, video there that we're seeing. Um, it's got a good walk on it, got a lot of hind quarter power being in not a single doubt. That's what, that's what we expect of not a single doubt these days. Um, having a look at Rodamine the mare, um, it, this horse is a full brother to Legend of Condor who Ran in the sud stud colours. I don't know if you remember it. It won on Melbourne Cup Day a couple of years ago when Brett Preble saluted on it. I don't know if you remember it, but I do. Um, and that was a pretty good sprinter. Um, I think this one is slightly better than it, so hopefully it can win some city races down the straight and hopefully maybe get to some group races down the straight and see what it's see what it's like. So I really like this sprinter by not a single doubt. I reckon he's gonna go for a lot of money, but be good. Lot 652 is a chestnut filly by the sire capitalist out of a Leroy Desanimo mare called Unbridled Courage. This is Unbridled Courage's first foal, so we don't really know what the mare's like, but this horse is going to be a sprinter for the future, I reckon. Um, and especially those early two-year-old races being by capitalists like the Golden Slipper and the Blue Diamond, I reckon it can push towards those types of races. This horse reminds me a bit of Profiteer. If you see the front of it, it's got a bit of a boldy face like Profiteer. It's got the same chestnut colour as Profiteer. Um, whether it's any as any good as Profiteer, I don't know. I don't think so because there's not many Profiteers that go around. But this one um, from Newgate Farm is pretty good, I reckon. Capitalist is an up-and-comer that I reckon um, could have a, a, um, his breakout season this season. So I'm hoping this one can get to the early two-year-old races and maybe give it a shake up don't know how much it'll go for being um, unbridled courage's first foal um, but hopefully it goes around the ring all right get to the races and show what it's worth We move on to the last of our lots and it is Saminator's Stayer. 
This is a bait called by Lonro out of the Extend XL mare called Lion Malicious. Lion Malicious has had six foals to race and they've all been winners including the exciting two-year-old F Troop who was by Spirit of Boom. Um, now I'm hoping this horse can get over ground, um, being by Lonro it should. Um, hoping it can get to the 2500 metres which I don't know if it can but if it, if it can get to the 2500 metres this could be a future derby contender. Obviously there's some up and coming sires like Dundeal and them that have Derby horses these days, but I think Lonro, if this is the last season that he produces some good horses, I'm hoping this is the one. Um, and I think this horse won't go around for a big amount of money, even though the mare's proven very good. Um, it could maybe go for under 150k or a oh, uh, under 200k, so if that happens, then I think it's value. Um, it could get to a derby. If it gets to a derby, I reckon it'll, it'll be worth a lot of money in the future. Um, and I think this horse is one to watch, especially the first of our lots, 208, but the last of our lots we're going to take a look at today. Thanks for watching.